Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Trey Ogden versus Kurt Hullabaugh. Trey Ogden, 16-6, 2-2-0-1. Uh, no contest with the Nicholas Moda fight. Uh, they actually finally changed it to a no contest. Minus 150 favorite, 34 years old. Uh, 5'11 with a 72 inch reach. Now, he didn't look bad against Nicholas Moda. Now, it's Nicholas Moda, even though Nicholas Moda knocked out Tom Nolan. Not a fan of that, but yeah. Uh, fighting Kurt Holobo, 20 wins, 7 losses, 3-2 and two in his last 5 fights on a 3-fight winning streak. The time is now or never for Kurt Holobo. Plus 125 underdog, 37 years old, 5'11", with a 73-inch reach. Same height, 1-inch reach for Kurt Holobo. The, the biggest thing on here is when Trey Ogden is able to use his strength against the cage or get him down and use his strength when he has him down on the, on the ground, how does Kurt... Um, do with that because he is a good grappler and he I don't want to see him uh, accept those positions and I worry that he's going to accept those positions now on the feet I think he can do a lot of good things but I also think it, he's susceptible to being uh, taken down and controlled and you know when, when Trey Ogden wins it's a boring fight that's the reality fought Jordan Levitt lost a split decision I can't believe you lost to him. Did beat Daniel Zahuber, which is wild to me, um, just because how good Daniel Zahuber looked in his last one. Then lost to Ignacio Baja Mendez. Still not even really a great fight. And then, like I said, Nate beat Nicholas Moda, took him down, arm triangle choked him. Whether it was premature or not, the arm triangle choke was in. So, Kurt Holobow cannot be... Um, complacent and be okay with being on the bottom looking for a submission. Now, I do think if it turns into a dog fight, Kurt Hollibaugh was much better in those dog fights. But a lot of people haven't been able, not no fighter really has been able to turn it into a dog fight. Uh, you know, it, it, Ignacio was, I think, the best one that did did the best work, to be honest. And Hullabaugh only has a one inch reach. I don't think he's that type of striker. He's more, let's get down, let's get dirty, let's uh, get to the ground, let's have these scrambles, and let's see who ends up on top. For that, I like Trey Ogden. I hope Kurt Hullabaugh wins, though. Trey Ogden will be your winner. As always, guys, subscribe, like, comment, and let me know who you're picking. Peace.